Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rich, and I'm here with Aaron from Sega. Hello there. And we are here to take a look at Sonic Lost World. Obviously, you guys already saw the trailer. You guys saw plenty of details, but we're going to walk you through three distinct stages. First, starting Windy Hill, uh, and then we're going to do Desert Ruins and Desert Ruins 2. So let's take a look at Windy Hill here. Um, so you've seen the trailer. You've seen some basic details in our write-up, but we wanted to really just show you gameplay and kind of walk you through it. Um, so, Aaron, first things first. Sonic, yep. you've slowed him down actually a little bit. Tell me a little bit about that. We have just a little bit, and that's because, you know, a lot of times in previous Sonic games, you'd have such a great sense of speed, but you'd have almost no control. Mm -hmm. And so there's all these people saying, man, I love going fast, but I hate when I slam into that wall or I fall off the edge or I just right. can't see it coming in time. So we're giving the player the choice over their speed now. So when I walk around, if I'm just walking around normally, this is the speed I go at. Mm -hmm. And that's the walk speed. Now, if I hold down the right trigger, then I move into run speed. And that's when we can go a lot faster. And finally, if you're like a Sonic fan, if you really know the level, you hold down the left trigger, and that takes you into spin dash, which is a nice returning iconic move. And we blaze through the level at that speed. Nice. So, I mean, as you're blasting through this and kind of taking out all the enemies, um, the gameplay, I mean, you know, when we saw Generations, Generations was old school 2D level, and then that same idea, but in modern 3D. You guys are actually mixing it up a bit and doing both basically at the same time in the same level. Is that right? That's right. And in fact, in this level, I can go essentially underneath the level, and this is a completely different path. So in this first part right here, there are four different ways that I can go. And traditionally in Sonic games, you've got your high, your medium, your low paths. Sonic fans will be excited to see that there are many multiple paths here that you can take. Um, in addition to that, we've added the parkour system. So uh, the parkour system is used whenever you're running into obstacles. So for example, this tree. Mm -hmm. If I were to run into this tree normally in a different Sonic game, I would lose all my speed. I just do a dead stop. But here, stop. Yeah. we'll run up the tree just like that. Grab that red star ring. So All that's right. a really nice new feature. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, and the, and the idea is that, I mean, some fans will go, oh, man, I don't want the game to play for my, you know, play it for me. So how do yeah. I determine when I'm parkouring, when I'm not parkouring? Like, how much of that is automated and how much of it is actually, like, skill-based? Yeah, that's entirely up to you. So if you're walking at normal speed, you won't do the parkour. Okay. If you hold down the run button, you will. So that's totally up to the player. And you're not going to, like, scale up, like, giant hillsides, right? I mean, there's, there's still, like, I mean, it helps you overcome smaller obstacles so that you don't lose momentum, but you're still, like doing platforming and basic maneuvering and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's it's not a, an easy win. He's not going to jump over this or anything crazy with, like that. With like, the parkour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. All right, so tell me, I mean, so we're talking about multiple paths and everything. You're kicking this bell around here. What's yep. what's going on with this so bell? This bell, if I can hit it enough times, and this part's a little tricky, i got to stop. Perfect. If I hit this enough times, it turns into a red star ring. The red star ring, Sonic fans will recognize because those are from Sonic Colors initially. Those are collectibles, and they unlock stuff as you go through the game. So nice, and it's a five. set five per level. Yeah, five yeah. in every level, exactly. Awesome. Now, I mean, we were talking a little bit about running around the sides of levels, and, you know, this, these levels are really, really crazy. And, I mean, I'm sort of used to more like, okay, you know, Windy Hills is like a foresty plains kind of thing or whatever. But these levels are just more bizarre and eclectic and abstract. Is that kind of the approach for all the levels within uh, Lost World? In a certain way, yeah. And it's kind of cool because a lot of Sonic levels, you know, historically have had these really crazy themes to them. And you're going to see that as we go through the second level in particular. So right here, for example, this is a, an alternate path. There's another path I could have taken, but I like the clouds. So we can bounce around here and grab rings as we're going through. Nice. The next level we'll take a look at is actually completely candy themed. So if you're like me and you have a massive sweet tooth, <laughs> you are going to love the next level. Nice. But I mean, all, all of Sonic's levels traditionally have had really cool themes and we wanted to really expand upon that. In particular, in Lost World, as you're going through maybe the desert zone, right? We're going to show you two levels from the desert zone, but they're both completely different. So right. instead of having like three levels that all look maybe reminiscent of Green Hill in cases like this, you're going to see three levels that are all very, very unique. And that's fun. Awesome. So right here, I'm taking an alternate path. I could have just fallen down there and taken the spring. This is one of the gold little cannons, a little reference for the Sonic fan. That one's for you. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you guys have, like, worked in a lot of references to all of the Sonic games from, like, like you know, the red coins, like you were mentioning, from Colors, but also just to, down to the small details. I think you were, you were telling me earlier, actually, like, his run animation is from a very specific That's game. right. It's the, it's the super peel-out from Sonic CD, that little figure eight thing that you see going on there. Right. And we've made even, we brought back stuff beyond that. I just did, this is a kick attack. So I've got two different attacks. I can homing attack, but these snails, I need to kick them. And that'll wipe them out instantly if I kick them versus the homing attack. And this guy, this is the uh, the laser wisp from Sonic Colors. Fans will recognize that. By tapping the gamepad, I can activate the wisp, but then I slide the finger. Just like that, and I can use Zap the wisp. Things. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's actually a great point that you bring up. It's just that, I mean, so this is obviously exclusive to Nintendo platforms. So yep. fans will see it on 
Wii U, which is obviously what you're seeing here, as well as 3DS, which you'll be able to see footage of on IGN at the same time. So when you're done watching this, go watch the 3DS footage. But um, so, I mean, in terms of the gamepad, oh, actually, we're about to finish this stage yep. here. Um, so the gamepad is used primarily to activate your color powers and then and, and you act not only select them and activate them, but execute them. That's right. Commands. So you'll be you'll be tapping, you'll be tilting, you'll be sliding like you pretty much use the gamepad to interact with the different color powers. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So now we're actually so this is the E3 demo. That's why you're seeing the start screen again. So we're going to yeah. go into Desert Ruins 2. Whoops. Oh. Or we're going to go back. <laughs> gonna go you guys, guys want to see it again? We can see it again. Uh, no, we'll jump back out. We'll take a look at, yeah. at Desert Ruins 2. No problem. So this one, like I said, is going to be candy themed. Um, it's my one of my favorite ones from from the the three levels we've got. And mm -hmm. I know a few people at this point are already thinking to themselves, "Man, you know, if it's slower, is it is it necessarily lesser than like Sonic Generations?" Sure. And for you guys, sit tight because whenever we show you level three, I think that's going to satisfy a lot of what you're looking for. Now, what I, what I thought was really cool because we we've seen this footage before as we were sort of preparing the blast feature on Sonic. Um, was th it's pretty different from the level we just saw. Like yeah. the, the actual construction of it, not just the theme. I mean, obviously you see donuts floating in the background. Clearly, yep. it's different in that respect. But the, the the mixture of 2D and 3D is a lot different. This is much. This is just 2D straight right? up. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you guys, like every level is slightly different. I mean, even in the third one, we're going to see in a little bit is completely different than this one, which was different from the last one. Yep. Um, this one actually reminds me just of much more straightforward 2D. Uh, classic Sonic feel, right? I mean, yeah, absolutely. And we get to use the homing attack here, you know, which is something that you could upgrade in generations, but it's really nice, I think, here to get that sort of like the classic feel. And I'm actually going to slow it down right here. I'm not going to run as I make this jump because that gives me that precision platforming I needed to right. to land that. That was always sort of, a, when, you know, that could be a really tricky thing with, uh, you know, some of the past Sonic games. Like, I'm going really fast and I can't control yeah, my right. jump. And, and then I'm it's like, I miss it pledge. and then I'm yeah. dead. And it's, it's kind of frustrating when yeah. it's like an instant death. So it's nice to have that Here's like the favorite cookie section of this stage. <laughs> There's a little secret here that I'm gonna show off. So if you're playing this at E3, you get a little little tip here. Now everyone at E3 is gonna just be like a pro at Sonic. I know, they'll know exactly. The developers are gonna be like, man, we made the game too easy. We need to like make this a lot harder. It's like, no guys, they're watching IGN, it's okay. Grab all the rings. Yeah, all right. yeah, exactly. There's a red star ring there too, so. All right, so what, what secret are you getting here? Is this, this all right, is so this was, right? a, this was an alternate path I just took. We're skipping a whole section of the level and we're gonna drop down right here. There we go. Our little candy loop de loop. Nice. So just like the old Sonic games, lots of different paths we can take, and that's that's very fun. Here I get to bounce on the truffles. truffles. Yeah. Truffles. Of They're doom. actually dangerous truffles. You don't want to get hit by these truffles. Yeah, apparently. actually, I mean, I've, I've seen you. I mean, you can get cl clocked pretty good by these things. I you mean, can. Like, you can. There's actually, uh, I think we're coming up on it, but there's like, like a much larger gauntlet of them. Or did you bypass yes, that? Yes. At, no, oh, at the okay, end, no. At the end, you're gonna yeah. see a massive gauntlet. Right nice. here. So you can collect the animals, right? You save these little animals, but it's a really big focus in Lost World, which is nice. So there's a little capsule, oh. save those guys, yeah. lose a few rings and grab them back. And those animals that we collect, oh, we are gonna get uh, a running total of those guys as we mm -hmm. go through the level. So that's so it's gonna not just up. like something to do, like there's actually things you unlock and There's a, a purpose, that's right, that's yeah. right. And so you'll have a running total of animals that you save. So when you beat a level, you get animals. When you destroy badniks, you get animals. And when you find those little capsules, you save even more. Nice. So the, the not only are the animals used for unlockables, the red coin, the red star coins are used for unlockables or red rings, whatever. Um, are, are there any other secrets unlockable? I mean, obviously multiple paths. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's quite a bit. Those, right. yeah, those are the, the primary ones that we're, we're discussing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So all right. right here, there's here's here's one of the levels where we get to bounce on the truffles. There we, go. we can go all the way up and get red rings. There's actually another secret over here. All right, last secret, I promise. So right here, we're just, uh, you know, I've had enough of life. I'm just going to jump to my death right about now. There we go. And there's a little oh, there. nice. That's awesome. And so we'll just grab all those rings and get through. And at this point, I think the dev team is like, what are you doing? Stop showing up. Yeah, I know, right? Stop that. That's spoilers. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to bounce up the truffles. Two paths we can go. We can go to the right a little bit easier, but I'm going to go to the left because there's a red star ring over there. Trying to be, a, dare. Try and get, trying to be a daredevil. Oh, no. oh, the game is punishing. All me. I need is one ring. It's, it's game's getting, like, oh, it's you tried right to now. show off, and it's now like, look what it's happens. It's like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof, there we go. Okay. So you can you can tell them when to climb up those. So it's kind of nice in the sense that if you want to grab onto the ledge, if you want to, to bounce over, you can, but you don't have to. So here we go. Oh, nice. All right, let's try and get this. I'm actually going to take the right path, I think, just because these truffles are yeah, loving yeah, me right now. Interest of time, I suppose. I know, yeah. 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 I want to show you guys right. that third level. So right here, we can bounce up there, grab that, and then there's our 
capsule of animals right there. And the little oh. sparkles mm -hmm. and the, the little emblems that popped up there. Nice little reference for the old fans that recognize that. And there's our animal totals too. Nice. So one um, more level. So let's cover off on the like the story, because I know that's something you guys are staying a little bit mysterious about. Yeah. You obviously saw that teaser image there in the background for the Thanks for Playing screen, which you guys teased a while back. But uh, you got some new enemies, some new faces in there. Tell me we a little do. bit about these guys. So they're called the Deadly Six, and those are all new bosses that you're going to be fighting within Sonic Lost World. And we've shown them off a little bit with the teaser image that you guys probably saw. Mm -hmm. In the trailer. Facebook. That's right. In the right. trailer, you saw them. Yep. Um, so it's still a little bit early for us to tell you about them, but uh, we find them very exciting because, you know, I think as, as Sonic fans, as, as people that play a lot of Sonic games, you fought Dr. Eggman quite a bit, right? Sure. Over and over and over. So it's nice to have a whole new set of enemies to fight, and that's what the Deadly Six offers. So nice. stay tuned for that. Now, here's the level I was talking about. It, very, very different right here. Yeah. Sonic is running at, at uh, full speed, yeah, pretty right much right. full speed, and, yep. and I can't stop him right now. So we are focused on dodging the walls and on running through and navigating this honeycomb grabbing the rings as we go along. And this is more like a Generations, you know, looking or at least themed level versus the other ones, much faster. I wanted to bring up uh, one thing because we were talking about the gamepad a little bit earlier, but yeah. you, so you guys aren't just limiting it to actually the color powers, but there's a support mode. Tell me about uh, support mode. That's right. I actually can't tell you any of the specific details just yet. You'll want to stay you tuned. Damn you. <laughs> you almost, almost got me. But I mean, the me. idea is that yep. you're using a Wii remote. But uh, to, that's right. So, yeah. so sort of in the, in the same way that in the old days, you know, my little brother would play as Tay in Sonic 3 and Knuckles and he would back me up, mm -hmm. you can have a second player support you via support mode in Sonic Lost World. Cool. It's very exciting. So there's both a competitive two-player mode and there's the support mode. Okay. And then you mentioned the, you know, you just actually brought up the idea of like in the past we'd play as Tails or whatnot, you know. Yep. So some of Sonic's friends and allies, long, long, you know, friends and allies are, are in this game, but you can't play as them. Tell me how, like, how, how do we see Knuckles or Tails or right, some of those right. guys in this? You'll see Tails and Knuckles in the cutscenes. You'll see Amy in the cutscenes. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to see many of, of Sonic's other friends okay. beyond that. So we've kind of tried to focus on Just that, that key group. Yeah, so you play only as Sonic, and then you'll be seeing the other characters get their time in the spotlight as you go through the story. Awesome. And yeah. with that and this giant green face, that's right. Uh, we are actually out of time. So thanks very much for showing the game, Aaron. Thanks very much for having and us. And thanks for all of you watching out there. And for more on Sonic Lost World, stay tuned to IGN.